Well hey guys, it's Mick here, and today I'm going to do my review on my Swisher log splitter. So here's the one that I elected to buy. I tried out a couple, and I'm going to do some uh, reviews on those two later. But uh, I bought the Swisher 28 ton log splitter. It's a horizontal or vertical splitter. And I'll kind of go over it with you. There's the hydraulic reservoir on it. It's got the side mount uh, control handle here. It lifts, there's just a pin right there that you can, uh, for lifting it into the vertical position. The engine is on this side. And the one I got is the, uh, has the eight and three quarter horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine on it. So I've been using this thing for uh, a few weeks now and we did make some modifications to it after using it and the things that we added is uh, it came with a little flimsy tongue jack and I went ahead and just put a wheeled tongue jack on there it just makes it a whole lot easier rolling it around <coughs> when it's in the garage and uh, things like that. The, the one that was on there was just real flimsy I didn't, didn't like that at all. Another change, kind of, I guess is more of an upgrade that we did, is the little, uh, when we were putting it together, the little caps, the little axle caps they give you, or they're just, they can be tough to get in there, and we kind of bent the frick out of them, so we just went ahead and put buddy bearings on there. Had a set of them, so we threw them on there. Another change I made is uh, this log splitter has kind of a smaller uh, little log guard here, and uh, or shelf, whatever you want to call it. And these things kept coming loose and rattling, and we tried, uh, we double knotted them, put thread locker and all kinds of stuff, and they just rattled too much. And so what I did is I just went ahead and uh, I just tacked welded them all together. Because I figure we really shouldn't, uh, you know, unless, unless we're being stupid, we really shouldn't bend them things to where uh, they're unusable or anything. So we threw some tack welds on there to uh, quiet that down and to hold them in place because when they would come loose it would rattle all over the place so that solved that problem that is uh, you know another thing I don't like about the splitter is the little uh, the little log things here they are they're a little bit smaller than the other some of the other splitters I used and kind of a little bit more flimsy and the last thing I did uh, modification wise was the only thing it had for the log to grip on on the bottom plate was just this one little piece so I took my welder and just made a couple little uh, little pyramids little just welded them in there just to kind of help give the log something else to grab onto because we did have some problems with some logs that, that weren't cut perfectly flat and maybe it was catching over here that they were wanting to kick out and that seems to have solved that problem and a couple other things that uh, I forgot to mention is one other thing that we added was we just took a took a little bucket we had and kind of zip tied it on there because it's nice to have tools when you're out in the woods uh, here I am I put this thing on the back of my four-wheeler and I am out in the middle of the woods and it sucks if you have uh, something come loose or uh, need a screwdriver or a wrench or whatever for whatever and uh, you don't have any tools so uh, we carry a bucket I carry some extra gloves in there Another nice thing that I found it's nice to carry with the log splitter is the hatchet. <coughs> because uh, a lot of times you get just a couple of little, you know, pieces like this that'll stick uh, holding two pieces together and it sometimes can be a pain to rip them apart and we just get in with a hatchet. And we also <coughs> zip tied the hydraulic hoses up a little bit higher to make sure they stay up because we do tow it through the woods. But anyway, uh, other than that, I'm really happy with it. Uh, we, we pretty much everything we split, we split just at an idle with it. Uh, the motor, the throttle on it, there's, there's not a huge variance from, from idle to full speed because it's got an off position and then it clicks into the first throttle position and then you got full throttle. So I usually just click it into the idle position and uh, <laughs> Unless we get a real knotty piece of wood, we haven't had to, uh, to idle it up. 
It does only have like a, a three quarter or one gallon fuel tank, which I was a little concerned about. But actually, especially with running this thing in its idle, it uh, it actually lasts quite a while. I would say we get probably a couple hours maybe out of a tank of fuel. I don't know. I haven't really timed it, but uh, it, it hasn't been inconvenient anyway. Something else I'm considering doing in the future too is is I, I still worry about a piece of wood <coughs> coming off the side there and bouncing off the motor and damaging something. And I thought about making some type of guard. Uh, maybe it was just some some uh, conduit or something, some metal pipe. Just just in case a uh, piece of wood would come off and hit that motor. So I'll get, uh, go ahead and get ready to, to split a piece of wood here and show you this thing in action. And what I got here is just a big piece of hickory. Um, we had a big hickory tree that was taken down in the storm, so we're going to get it all split up. And uh, another thing that I have found, and this is, I guess, a personal preference thing, is I prefer to split in a horizontal position because I don't like bending over. So as long as I can pick the wood up and I'm not straining too terribly bad, I will split everything in the horizontal position. My dad, on the other hand, who uh, also uses this and uh, who obviously is, is quite a bit older than me, he likes splitting in the vertical position. He doesn't like picking the wood up. He just assume roll it up there and, and, uh, and do it in that position. And I will say too, it, it does help. This is, this is my first experience with a log splitter. I've always done it the old fashioned way. It definitely helps if you got two or three people where you got one guy moving the wood uh, that you're going to split, one guy operating the handle and one guy taking the split wood and stacking it up. That sure does make it operation go a whole lot faster. So let's get this thing in action. my review on the Swisher 27 ton log splitter. I hope I covered everything. If I missed something and uh, you have a question, just post it down there in the comments and uh, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.